welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to play Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on the piano. We're going to go through three different ways or levels you can play this one. The first one is going to be just playing the single melody in one hand or sharing both hands. The next one is going to be adding some single left hand notes to that. the third one that like you heard in the preview. If you're interested in the sheet music, I've left a link to the arrangement for the second level and the third level down below. So I've arranged this one in the key of C major just because it's the easiest one as it uses not as many black keys. So on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of C major. I'm gonna go straight in with Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. I'll put the lyrics on the screen as well with the notes above it. So level one, we're just gonna do the single melody. So here is middle C and the notes are there. And you're gonna place your second finger on G and the notes are as follows. So we have G, A, G, E, C, G. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And then the next bit. G, A, G, A, G, C, B. Had a very shiny nose. And then you're going to move it down. Second finger on F. F, G. Then the next last bit, G, A, G, A, G, A, E. You would even say it glows. So if we join all of that together now. play the first bit again, so it's like playing it from the beginning. So, all of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. And the last bit is slightly different. They never let go Rudolph. So that bit's the same. I'm gonna need to move your thumb to G. G, A, G, A, G, and then D, C. the next section then. If you pop your third finger on A, so it's this then one foggy Christmas Eve. So we have A, A, C, A, G, E, G. Give your second finger to F. Part. So we have D, E, go under to F, and then A, B, 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 C, C, B, A, G, F, D. So do that a bit again. Do all of that middle section. And then 
minutes back into this again. When home the reindeer loved him Then they shouted out with glee Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer And the last bit is different, so we've got G A G A G D C So the you go down in history. So I'll play it all the way through now without singing. <laughs> So if you just want to learn the right hand, you can just keep it there, practice that part, and then come back if you want to add some left hand. So we're going to add some left hand notes now. The first section, you're going to place your little finger on the C below middle C, and your thumb on G. And we're really just going to be playing C, and then G, C, G, C, and then D, G, D, G, D, G, D, G, and then C, G. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. So you're either playing those two notes or those two notes, like, like that, rocking them back and forth. So I'm going to slowly play it together. So the foot, they come in hands together, so the C and the G. So we have Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Together now. Has a very shy me. And then change it to D. Nose. D and F. on C. C. G. So do that first bit again. together and then we're going to do this walk up so you're going to play this C then B then B flat so it makes it a little bit kind of funky into just lead you a more interesting way to lead you into the next section 
And then for this next part, so you can use whichever fingers you feel comfortable. We're just going to be playing in thirds like this for this next few bars. So you have F and A, you're going to play twice. Move that down to E and G twice. Move it down to D and F twice. Then move it down to C and E, play it twice. And that fits together with this. So the next bit so we're gonna play four more chords in the left hand you're gonna play F and A again hold it hold it for four beats and you're gonna change the A to an A flat and then you're gonna play F sharp and A and then you're gonna play D and G Put that together. Rudolph with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? So I'll do that again. that section now. whichever fingers you feel comfortable using obviously don't miss out your thumbs and don't cross over like this <laughs> always cross over your thumb or go under with your thumb so I've just shown you a couple of different fingers you could use there but pick whichever you like the best and stick with them okay and then it's back into this again so I want to carry on together G and then we have C's together and then G E C just a little bit more of an interesting way to finish it you go down in here starry. so I'll play this all the way through now So you could if you wanted to make the left hand like more staccato and ploddy like that or you could make it smoother like that so I've shown you both. Or you could uh, use a mixture of both. So think about how you could articulate the notes and play some of the notes more staccato, join some of the notes together 
Um, it's up to you and it adds more character. So the final one then, we're going to add some, basically beef out those, the left hands with some chords. So the first chord is a C major. So you can either hold them down like this, but I I'm going to play it like this, so more often. So one, two, three, four. So C major is the first chord, so that fits together like this. Then we're going to come to G major, G, B, D. And then we're going to change to G7 in the left hand, so G, D, F, the next bit. Back to C. And then you could play this, if you wanted to, like a little chromatic lead up. So I was going G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, which leads back into the C. So you don't have to add that. Just a little suggestion. And back into the C again. To G. To G7 chord. going to do this walk up so you play the C chord, walk down even, like we had in the second one. The left hand we're going to play, I know we were playing chords in the second one but we're going to play an extra note as well. And we're going to play them more often like this. So you're going to play a full F major chord four times. So then one foggy. So F A C. And then keep your thumb there, we're going to play a C first inversion chord, so it's E, G, C, Christmas Eve, to D minor, Santa came to, and then C, C, so I'll do that with the right hand. The next bit you're going to play, go back to D minor chord and hold these down. So, with your... change the A to the A flat. So bright. And then we're going to add the C to that F sharp and A. And then we've got a G7 chord again. I'm just going to hold down. So I'll do all that middle section again. And you could have a go at just, you know, stabbing the chord as I've suggested before, have a play around with holding chords down, playing them more staccato, just for more variation and characterful effect. And then it's back into this again. So C major. To G major. play G major and then G7 with the D and then you're going to play C major and then you could end on a little if you wanted to <laughs> so the lowest C and the highest C you have and play a little G before it beforehand just a little funny little flourish at the end I'm going to play this one all the way through now
So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.